Most people have experienced the situation when everything becomes too much. I know that feeling all too well as an entrepreneur engaged in so many ways. Entrepreneur, CEO, founder, investor, board member, bank, chamber of economics, hometowns, community council. And here's what I do and recommend to prevent drowning. Maybe some of you won't be happy with the one and only solution. Chivity Dovity Bam! Welcome to the Business MC channel where I share the experiences of my six year journey from mediocrity to millionaire. I offer infos and shortcuts for business rookies and average people like me. Plus, insights in my creative everyday life, including a behind the scenes look of building a YouTube channel. Details of all this linked here and in the description below. One of my strengths is at the same time a weakness. I'm easily inspired for something, which on one hand is a big advantage because it puts me in contact with so many interesting people or projects, and keeps me up to date on trends and also business opportunities. On the other hand, this leads to a flood of tasks, appointments, deadlines that can easily be overwhelming. So this will be the right moment to tell you learn to say no. Advices like that you get out of thousands of videos and books. You don't need to hear that once more from me. What I can tell you though is how to transform theory to practice. What works for me and what is not helpful at all. All those tips on how to plan your daily schedule to get more done are interesting and I've read a lot of those business guides. The trick is to translate generally valid statements to your individual situation. Methods that work for one business, for one company or for one person are not automatically the best for your situation. Of course, over time, you gain the experience to figure out what suits your approach. Sounds like more of the same blah blah, right? Here's a shortcut. Before you take an advice or try a method, think about it and question it. That's not done in a few minutes, but when pondering for a couple of days and maybe talk to someone about it, you will usually make the right decision. And if you counter weighing up for a couple of days is too long, I can definitely tell you a key decision must never be made off the cuff the risk of being wrong would be too high. It's even better to let go than taking high risk because of a hasty choice. At this time, I've maneuvered myself into a tricky position. My calendar is usually completely stuffed for years, even on the weekends. What I like, just, I started new projects in addition again. And building this YouTube channel is just one of it. Also, more time is needed for one of my latest startups. Business plan needs to be adjusted and cash flow must be improved. And I'm currently negotiating two new investments already, which means some extra meetings and considerations. So, not everything is going super well at the moment. Things are on hold, tasks are postponed, and results are delayed, which makes me unhappy and grumpy. Hmm. How do I get out of this vicious circle? Here come two more advices from my experience. A, watch out you don't run out of energy. Recharge your batteries and time. Get enough sleep. Working all night long is sometimes necessary but exhausts you, so you eventually fail. Do some sports. It keeps the circulation going so you can do more. And take some time off. Meet friends, watch TV, read a book, spend time with your loved ones, whatever. And B, well, as I mentioned at the very beginning, not everyone will like this one. So listen carefully, you have to pull yourself together and do the job. Work as f u c k ing hard as you can. Every successful person on this planet worked their ass off. Quote. Looks like I'm a fan of quotes. Quotes in every episode almost. I like them, very inspiring I think. So, 
quote goes like this. I'm a great believer in luck and I find the harder I work, the more I have of it. Thomas Jefferson said that, should be true, sounds right to me. The only true solution, and here it comes, never give up. Look in the mirror, face yourself and say, I will accomplish it. There are people out there that have also been through tough times, so you can do it too. Go the extra mile, even if it hurts. Sometimes an interesting opportunity won't come back later, so you have to take it right now if you really want it. What mostly works good for me to make decisions, listening to my gut. Coming to the New Year's Resolutions Challenge. To find out what that's about, click here. Hmm, but what about your resolutions? Pretty sure you have, or at least had one. Let me know how you're doing. I'm completely honest again. Working out even more than I planned at the beginning of the year, and my body shows me unmistakably. Dude, you're not 30 anymore. Knees are hurting from running, elbows hurting from hammer curls. Well, someone said, go the extra mile, even if it hurts. Bam the subscribe button if you haven't already. And, and support me on a road to a million subs. Or at least have fun watching me fail. Stay open-minded. Tschüss und baba. Ah, one more thing. I'm going to adjust the vlog a bit and completely change the look. So you should definitely watch the next one.